In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the performance of open automation software by running the full framework of OAS on a Raspberry Pi 4 device. And I'm going to load 100,000 tags on that Raspberry Pi device and log those values each second to a database. I'm going to use the Configure OAS application to connect into the Raspberry Pi device. I'll use Configure Tags and I'll select the IP ad address of that Raspberry Pi 4. Now, by default, the open automation software framework, when you install it on a Raspberry Pi device, it comes with some demo tags. We're just going to delete those tags. And I'm going to use a CSV import feature to import a list of tags that I've set up in Excel. I'm going to import 100,000 tags. The tag values are going to be simulated once per second uh, with an incremental ramp in a simulation mode, but they could be connected to a Modbus, Allen Bradley, Siemens, uh, OPC UA server, MQTT, all of the different data sources that are possible with open automation software. Now let's set up some data logging using configure data logging. I could set up the data logging right on the Raspberry Pi device, but uh, since we don't have SQL Server installed there, uh, if the SQL Server engine was remote from Raspberry Pi device, that would be no problem. But I also want to demonstrate the networking performance from one OAS engine to another. So I'm going to use my local Windows service to set up the data logging. And I'm going to use the one-click data logging feature so we can get this done quickly. Uh, I'll browse to, using the browse feature of one-click database, I'm going to browse to the remote uh, Raspberry Pi 4 and we're going to select that group tags and I'm going to import all of the tags from that uh, Raspberry Pi device and I'm going to set up a base data logging group name called data log and uh, we'll set it up to run data logging continuously and we'll break up the data logging to 500 tags per group. We can also use continuous narrow uh, or data change uh, narrow as well to log all of the values in one table but this is going to be easier to query and so we'll set up basically 200 separate logging groups each logging 500 tags. In step 3 we can define uh, what the date and time field is and in step 4 we're going to say log to a database and we're going to use a server name from my local uh, SQL Server instance. I'm going to grab that here by going to connect and just copy that SQL Server instance. I'll paste that in here and put in a new table, uh, sorry, a new database called TestDB. We'll click OK and we'll see that it has added 200 logging groups. And under the Tags tab, of each uh, login group, we can see there are the 500 tags from the Raspberry Pi device that are currently that is currently being logged. We go down here to the bottom of this last login group. There we see the tag uh, ramp uh, 100,000. In the database tab, we can see we are logging to that uh, database, and we can see the table names have been automatically defined as well. So now let's go query that data. If we look at the SQL Server Management Studio and look under databases, we see we have a new database called TestDB and under tables we have 200 new tables that have been created. There we can see the values have been inserted into the uh, table. And if we look at this last record at, uh, let's see, that is 48 minutes and 6 seconds. The value is 85. Let's go to the last table. That's 48.06 with a value of 85. We can find that exact same time as well. Uh, in that last table and we can see that all of the values for the 100,000 tags are changing each second from the Raspberry Pi device. So this demonstrates the performance of a very small compact device uh, supporting 100,000 signal values each changing each second. If you want to learn more about open automation software visit the website openautomationsoftware.com there is where you can download a free trial and also visit us under the support contact us page 
and under support knowledge base there you will see how to install open automation software for a Raspberry Pi device under the getting started section you'll see installation and right here is a Raspberry Pi uh, installation also for Linux and Windows as well